Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric with One Number. Welcome to today's Tableau tutorial. Uh, today we're going to cover Tableau blending and specifically why do you sometimes get asterisks in your blend results? So first up, why are you blending? Uh, I'm just giving you crap, but uh, if you can avoid blending, if you can do joins or relationships or something like that, do it. Uh, but if you can't, that's okay. Um, there are a few data sources which Tableau won't allow cross database joins for. Uh, and, and in that case, maybe blending is your only option. You could think about Tableau prep, um, but if that's still not an option, is what it is. Okay, so why are you getting an asterisk? So I've got a kind of simple data set here to help explain this. So let's say that I manage a sales team. So this sales team, um, we have, how many states is this? I think eight states that we cover in the Northeast US. So you can see in this worksheet, 2022 quota by state, I've got my eight states and what our quota is for 2022. And then in this other sheet, I've got my sales team um, and there's actually 11 team members for the eight states. So there are a couple states that are big enough like New York where it probably makes sense to have two salespeople cover that whole state. Okay, so over to Tableau, let's say that I just wanna make a quick worksheet which just shows me um, which salespeople are attaining their quota or which states are do we have the quota getting attained and which do we not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with 2022 quota by state. And so I'll just drag state onto the row shelf and let's just put our quota um, as text for now, we'll just start something simple like text. Looks fine, right? So now we're gonna go to the other data source, 2022 sales team by member, just flip down to this in the data pane. Notice that Tableau already figured out that they both share the field state, that's great. Um, you do need to think about that with blending, like are you blending at the right level? If I had city as well as state, maybe I'd wanna blend on city and state. We kept this simple for this example. So if I just wanna see my sales amount per uh, state, I think actually, let me just double click on it and it should add it as another column. So now just at a quick glance, I can see there's some states like Maine where we're meeting our quota exactly, some like Connecticut where we are exceeding our quota, and then some like Pennsylvania where uh, we are, are not meeting our quota. So let's say I wanna dig into that. Well, what's going on in Pennsylvania? You know, which rep is that? Or are there multiple? How are they doing? So now I get my salesperson field, put that, on the row shelf. And some of the salespeople are showing up like Justin Bieber in Connecticut or Lionel Messi in Maine. And some of them like Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania have asterisks. So what's going on there? All right, so basically what's happening is those asterisks are all in states where there are multiple salespeople. So New York, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania are all of our asterisks, right? So when it comes to blending in Tableau, we started with our quota data source, which was eight rows, and then we blended in our salesperson data source, which was 11 rows. What Tableau does with blending is it essentially condenses the size of the second table to match the size of the first table. So what it did is it took those 11 rows and it scrunched them down until they fit the format of the eight original rows. So how it did that is it summarized the sales values. So for Pennsylvania, the sum of sales being 1.1 million, that's, that's actually okay, that's accurate. We'll look at that in a second. Um, but yeah, it'll summarize your measures. And I don't know why I wrote this by hand instead of using the typing tool, that was my own dumb fault. Uh, apologize for the chicken scratch. And, um, but for a dimension, how do you aggregate two names? What is Dwayne Johnson plus Justin Bieber? A really big Dwayne Johnson. I don't know, right? It's like, you can't really do that. So what Tableau did is it essentially used the attribute function, which just says, if there are multiple values, return an asterisk. If there's only a single value, return that single value. So for Connecticut, there's just Justin Bieber, so it's fine. Um, for Massachusetts, there were multiple people, so we have an asterisk. Okay, so going back here one more time, is the Pennsylvania 1.1 million correct? Uh, I grabbed too many cells there, but uh, yeah, it is. That's actually that's actually right. Uh, Selena Gomez and Billie Eilish teamed up for $1.1 million sales in Pennsylvania. Um, they have fallen a, a ways from their uh, entertainment careers. Uh, so what do you do? How do you fix this? Um, sometimes there's a quick fix, sometimes there's not. 
In this case, because our sales team by member data source is 11 rows and then our quota is eight rows, if we just start with the data source that has more rows or is more detailed, like sales by team member, I think our solution, or I think actually we're gonna be fine. So if I just put state on rows, sales amount on text, go to the quota data source, double click on quota. Now that's showing up here. So now if I, went back to my primary data source here, sales team by member, and then tried to put salesperson on here, I would still see that salesperson. Now you've run into like a little bit of an issue here um, just because now the quota is, oh, I'm sorry, uh, I should do this for, let's use Massachusetts. The quota is showing as 1.8 million for each of those salespeople, which is actually not true. Um, it's just 1.8 million total. So this is kind of a limitation of blending. Um, this is a situation where actually relationships would be beautiful because this data is happening at different levels. If you just related them on state, then the data could retain its original form without the values duplicating. So I understand that depending on what kinds of data sources you're using, specifically if you're using like a Tableau server published data source, that, that may not be an option for you. Uh, but yeah, maybe maybe a quick fix like this, or honestly, if I just put salesperson on columns, nope, that looks horrible, never mind. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe there'd be a way to, to kind of think through this and, and do better. I'm not sure. So um, just remember too, that you don't have to have the same blend for each worksheet. In my first worksheet, I started with quota. So that's got the blue check mark. In my second worksheet, I started with sales team by member. So that's the primaries. That's got the blue check mark. Um, so if possible, when in doubt, probably better to use the more detailed table first, so that becomes the primary table, and then use the you know more summarized table second. And then you, at the very least, won't be having, or will reduce the number of kind of asterisk attribute issues that you're running into. So I hope that answered your question about why you might be getting asterisks in your blend. Maybe those solutions help, maybe they don't. If you need help, if you got questions, let me know. You can drop a comment below. Um, you can uh, just email me directly. My email is at the end of the video, and uh, I'd like to help you out if I can. So uh, thanks for checking this video out. We look forward to catching you on another Tableau tutorial next week.